Brothers in Golf welcomes you to Wildflower Championship Golf Course. From breathtaking vistas to oak and sand surrounded greens, from meandering, well manicured fairways to rolled native prairie grass, Wildflower provides the beauty and challenge that golfers of all playing abilities will thoroughly enjoy. Welcome everybody down to the Wildflower Championship Golf Course at Fair Hills Resort. The first hole is a par 4. It's a short but narrow par 4 dogleg to the right. Jordan chose to go with driver and cut the corner. Brandon going with 5 iron. It's about 214 as you can see there to carry that bunker on the right side. He looks like he's going right towards it. Jordan should be nice up, nicely up there in the fairway, and yep, and Brandon did land right in that bunker, so he's got a tough shot here on his approach. Good clean pick. Looks like it's just going to be just short, though. Short and right. Jordan has about 100 yards left into the screen. Beautiful night here at the golf course. Perfect weather. He picks that one nicely. That's just going to find the center of the green. So he's got a good attempt there at birdie. Here's Brandon's birdie attempt. It's a chip shot off the front right portion of the green. Looks to be tracking. No way. Oh! He's got it. What a great start for Brandon. Awesome pace to it. As he's going to he's going to hurry up and get that out of there before he decides to jump out. Oh, he's, he claims that he's back. Looking for a better result than he had the previous week at Forest Hills in the Izzo Open. Not a great showing for him, but off to a tremendous start so far. So here's Jordan for birdie. He's got about a 16-footer. It's on a good line. Oh, we just kept it up on the high side there. He's just got to tap that in for par, so, I mean, he's going to lose a stroke here, but that's that's a tough that's a tough one to follow. The second hole is a par 5. Uh, what well, Something to look out for on this hole is the old abandoned farmhouse that's up next to the green. And just on the right side there, I'm just protecting protecting the green. Bren takes a driver out and that's a smash. Yeah, that's perfect. Jordan there up is next. such a thing as a perfect golf swing. That was close to it. Here's Jordan taking out driver as well. It's a pretty big high sweeping fade there and he should be okay. It's going to be on the right side in the rough. So Jordan's got a little over 250 yards to the green so he's taking out his trusty three wood. Looks to put a good swing on it here and it's going to go up the left side. It's going to get down before those trees there and he's going to be in the shadows. And that should be okay. He seems to be pleased with it. Yeah, he should have an attempt at birdie. It's not not a bad play. It's a good start for both players here. Brandon from a downhill lie, taking six iron. That's on a good line. And it might be a little deep. Yeah, it's run through the back, but it's a pretty good shot from there. It's going to have an attempt at eagle. And there's a look at the old abandoned farmhouse next to this next to the screen here on this par 5 so Jordan's kind of got a difficult shot here he's got to keep the ball low but yet got to get it to stop here so this is kind of a tough one yep and he just couldn't get it to stop it's, uh, just hit it a couple couple feet too far landed, on, landed it on the down slope so as you saw there with the, the flag stick in, there's barely any breeze tonight. Another just gorgeous night for the brothers in golf. Here on the JBG Tour, they've really had a great year. Yeah, they've been very fortunate on their on their Lynx golf. So he left that one way short. Yeah, that was a pretty pathetic effort <laughs> for Eagle to leave it that far short. So here's Jordan to get his birdie. And he left it short too, he just didn't give it enough. But that should be a makeable putt for par here. He's gonna mark it. So here's Brandon for birdie, he's got about another 
12 to 15 footer here. It's got a lot of pace on it. Great Ooh, base. Right in the Center middle. of the cup. A dagger and he points to the... He's coming for you, he <laughs> says. Jordan's just got to stay the pace. Keep his keep his head in the game here. Ooh. Oh, and he slithers into par. I think Brennan feels like he wants to reclaim his rightful spot at the top of the bourgeois cup. I suppose so. So here now we're on the par 3-4. It's a, a sweeping panoramic vista from the elevated T in this tempting and treacherous par 4. Brandon's ball ended up pretty far left, but he should be okay. Jordan aimed at the right bunkers, and he's come straight across that. Oh, he's pulled that tough. That's a hard pull there, and he should be on the, just on the edge of the fescue here, oh, the tall prairie look, take grass. Take a look at this. Oh, he's found his ball in a gopher embedded? hole. Embedded? So what's the ruling? I believe that's a free drop. JB, I could be wrong, but on the JBG tour, JB I tour believe it is. I suppose it is. Oh, that's kind of a. So we'll play it from there. Free drop. This is a second shot. 160, 170 yards out. Maybe less than that. Didn't seem like he caught it very well. Yeah, it's about one, th about 125 actually. Oh, my apologies. And he looks like he's hit the tree there. bit unfortunate. So Brent's got to get the ball way up in the air here quickly. Shouldn't have a problem with that, I would think. Yeah, that's that's oh, gone and well over. Straight over. A little right. But should have a putt for Birdie to make it three in a row. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Start off the round, that's a... Especially since you played so poorly last week. So here's... Jordan's Ooh. third, and that's a Ooh. nice putt. Or a nice chip. He should have an easy putt. Seems laser focused today. <laughs> so this is for three straight birdies. What a start this would be. Oh, it's got some legs, Ooh. some groove to it. Oh. oh, and he just misses on the right side. Oh, he can't believe it. He seems to be dialed in today. This could be a low round. He told me before the round started that he believed he could shoot 65 to 66, somewhere in that range. And he's off to an incredible start so far. Was that after 14 or 15 holes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great par by Jordan. No, I think he was hoping that would be after 18. Oh, I see. Good joke, though. Oh, we got to keep it light here on the tour, you know. It's a long season. Mm -hmm. So here's Brandon to clean up his par, and he's got that, so he remains two under. Jordan even so far, so here on the par four, this fourth. Is handicap one, playing as a toughest hole on the course. Difficult uphill par four with a two-tiered green. The green is actually very, very tough to get at. Um, kind of hard to see, too, when you're up here. Brandon took it right over that bunker. Should be in excellent shape. Jordan looking to do the same thing, hopefully, here. Should be no problems there. Yep, should find the short grass. Looking to get a good yard. Yeah, as you can see, Jordan was right in the middle of the fairway. Brandon maybe in the first cut. So here's Jordan here. He's got about one, about 150 left, so he's going to take a 7-iron. Seven 7-iron, seven okay. Well, that seems to be drifting off right. It's fading a little bit. It's got to catch a piece. He'll be up there. I don't believe he's on the green, though. Brandon left himself with 110. Got his 56-degree wedge out. That was struck very well. It's right at it. He seems to be really in a groove right now. And so Jordan is right on that fringe rough cut there so it's kind of a, a tricky situation here it's got to get a good chip shot it's got to hit it solidly through the ball here that's a good effort 
from that lie. It's a great effort. So he's got that for a yet another par for four straight bars. Brandon with his fourth straight birdie attempt to open the round. And this should be routine. This is a very not, it's a very makeable putt. Yeah, not much to it. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, don't seem so disappointed for him. Well, I mean, he did miss it on the pro side there, I guess, so I can't really, I don't have too much to say about it. And there's Jordan, it's another tap in par. If he can keep this pace up, he's he's going to have to, Brand's going to have to make birdies. Just to get two under. And he's got it. What a great start for both golfers. Thank you.